The SU men's cross-country squad broke through in 2009 with its first Atlantic Region Championship in school history. Momentum from a strong indoor and outdoor track season is also fresh in the minds of each runner that wants to make an impact this year. SU returns six of the seven runners from last year's regional meet and enters the season ranked number 11 in the nation and preseason favorites in the PSAC in Atlantic Region. Everyone who is on the line there is hungry for more, um, and they know what it's like to have won. They know what it takes to win that meet and get to nationals. So uh, that helps a lot for us to be back in a position with the same guys who, who are going to be able to uh, fight again for another regional title. Um, and I think there's a lot of excitement that everyone's back, essentially, from that team, and there's still just as much motivation, if not more, to replicate it. There's definitely more motivation. I can, I can tell you that much just from the first couple days of camp this week. It's, it's a really exciting atmosphere. There's a buzz around this season. Having that many runners back is what absolutely makes us uh, the top contenders in the region. I think you bring back not only the leadership, but the experience. Um, and then you return guys who are just stronger and more fit. Uh, so it's incredible. We now have a group of guys who have been together for a couple years now. Um, we're really close-knit guys. Uh, we're better runners than we were a couple years ago because we've been working together, pushing each other. And having that group of guys that's close on the line that knows each other from the year before is what's going to help us get through those meets and what's going to help us win at the championship meet. So it's incredibly important, and it's really exciting, too. I think all of us are excited to see everyone back, and it's going to be what propels us into the postseason. It's amazing. We started off, um, there was a group of us four years ago or three years ago that all came in as freshmen, and that really formed the core of our team. And we brought in, we've integrated that core with uh, Josh and a couple of the older guys, and the younger guys have also um, came in and really stepped up. So we have this amazing group of kids that has really, for the last two and three years, all worked together and have one common goal. So it's, it's going to be an incredible season. Try to continue to build on every uh, continuing season, one after the other. If you have one good season, the next one will be better, and it will just follow. Um, the good thing is, is that throughout those seasons, we've shown uh, the rest of the competition in the PSAC, the region, and even the nation, that we are one of the, the top contenders for the titles. It's very exciting to get our team to this level and to have both programs strong is is something that's fun. You know, when you have uh, the men's program, you know, for example, being very strong, maybe the women's not as strong, it's, uh, you know, it makes it more challenging. Uh, now my motivation for both teams is very much the same. I can and, and, uh, coach them, you know, to some extent in very similar ways. Veterans back and we also have a lot of others that have uh, stepped it up last track season and uh, have taken it to a new level. So it's going to be very competitive just to see who makes our top seven this year. Each season built upon itself for the collegiate athlete. And uh, like I said, we had quite a few that made great gains in track and uh, that weren't necessarily factors even being in our top 10 last year in cross country for the guys. And, and uh, you know, they're going to push those other guys to get better and it's going to definitely help our team get better.